Hi there, I'm Vaidatas, and in this video, we're going to discuss what causes the common server IP cannot be found error and how you can troubleshoot it. All right, let's get to it. To answer this question, I'll briefly explain what happens when you access a website. After typing a domain name, your browser will find the website's IP address through a process known as a DNS lookup. An IP address is a set of numbers that identifies websites, services, and devices on the internet. Meanwhile, the domain name system, or simply DNS, is a database that translates domain names into IP addresses. During the DNS server lookup process, server IP address cannot be found error can occur if the browser fails to find the website's IP address. Some of the common causes are, first, the site server is experiencing downtime. Second, there's a caching issue. Third, there's an issue with your network settings. And fourth, the DNS server supplied by your internet service provider is down. There are several ways to solve the server IP address could not be found error. Let's start by checking if a local issue is causing it. Caching problems related to your device or network might trigger the error. Cache refers to website data stored in the local computer, which helps shorten page load time. But sometimes the cache data doesn't match the actual website content, causing issues. There are several ways to determine if a local issue is behind the error. First, try accessing the website on an incognito window or using a different browser. Second, use a different device and a different network. For example, access the site on your mobile phone using your mobile data instead of Wi-Fi. Third, use a proxy website like kproxy.com or proxysite.site. Fourth, check if the site is available in other locations using a tool like GeoPeaker. And fifth, restart your modem and router. If you can access the website using any of these options, it strongly indicates that it's a local issue. The simplest fix is clearing your browser cache. And if it doesn't work, I'll show you how to flush your DNS cache. I'll teach you how to clear your browser cache in Chrome and Safari. If you use Mozilla Firefox, I'll link the tutorial in the description. Starting with Chrome, click the three dots at the upper right corner of your screen. Choose Settings. Navigate to Privacy and Security and select Clear Browsing Data. Pick a time range and check the browsing history, cookies, and cache boxes. By choosing all time, the browser will clear all the browsing history, cookies, and cached files. Double check it and click clear data. Click the Safari tab on the top of your screen. Choose settings, then advanced. Check the box show develop menu in menu bar. Close the settings window. Open the develop menu and select empty caches. Now, go to the History tab and choose Clear History from the drop-down menu. If the error is still there after clearing the browser cache, let's try flushing the DNS cache. On Windows, type Command Prompt into the search bar to locate it. Click Run as Administrator. You'll see a pop-up asking you to allow changes to your computer. Click Yes. You might also get a pop-up asking for an administrative login. In this case, contact your system administrator. On the command prompt, type ipconfig slash flush DNS and click enter to run it. Windows will automatically clear a DNS cache and display a confirmation message. On Mac devices, go to Applications, choose Utilities and click on Terminal. Type the command corresponding to your macOS version and hit return. I will add the complete list of commands to the video description. If necessary, insert your admin password and click return again to flush the DNS cache. If flushing the DNS cache doesn't solve the error, try releasing and renewing the IP address. It can fix network connection issues by giving up the lease to your computer's old IP address and requesting a new one. On Windows, open Command Prompt and run it as an administrator. Type ipconfig slash release and hit enter. Now, type ipconfig slash renew, then hit enter again. Next, run this command to reset your previous IP settings and the Winsock catalog. Restart your computer to implement the changes. On Mac devices, go to System Settings and choose Network. Select the internet connection you're using and click on Details. Open the TCP slash IP tab, then click Renew DHCP Lease. Press OK. Restart your computer and check if the error message persists. Your internet connection relies on the DNS servers supplied by your internet service provider. If their DNS servers aren't responding or are poorly configured, it will trigger issues, including the server IP address could not be found error. 
to temporarily solve this problem, we'll use a public DNS server. To do that on Windows devices, access the Network Connections page. Right-click on the connection you're currently using and choose Properties. On the Properties window, select Internet Protocol version 4 and click the Properties button. Tick these two checkboxes, obtain IP address automatically, and use the following DNS server addresses. Then, type your desired DNS server addresses in the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server boxes. In this example, I'm using Google's DNS servers. So, in the preferred DNS server box, enter 8888, and in the alternate DNS server box, enter 8844. Check to validate settings upon exit box and click OK. Restart your browser to complete the process. For Mac users, navigate to the Apple menu, choose System Settings, then Network. Select your primary network connection and click on the Details button. Go to the DNS tab and click the minus button to remove previous DNS entries. Now click on the plus button, enter 8888 and 8844 to add Google server's addresses. Click OK to implement the changes. Outdated network drivers may cause several problems, including server IP address could not be found error. To update the network drivers on Windows, type Device Manager in the search box. Click on the arrow next to Network Adapters option, right-click a network adapter, then select Update Driver. Repeat this process for all adapters. Restart your device and try accessing the website again. If you're a Mac user, you can update network drivers by yourself, as it is a process that will happen during a software update. So all you have to do is check if your device's software is outdated. Click the Apple icon from your desktop, select About This Mac, and choose Software Update. If you see an update available, click Update Now and wait until the process is complete. If the error persists even though the software is updated, move on to the next section. Disabling your VPN or proxy server can also solve the server IP address could not be found error. The steps to disable VPN will depend on which software you're using, but generally, they are very simple. If you use VPN or proxy extensions, make sure to turn those off as well. Now, let's see how to disable a proxy connection on Windows and Mac OS. On Windows devices, open the Start menu, choose Settings, and go to Network and Internet. Then, select Proxy on the left panel. Scroll down until you find the Manual Proxy Setup section and switch off the option Use a Proxy Server. Reboot the computer and try accessing the website. If the error persists, move on to the last two troubleshooting methods for Windows devices. On macOS, access your network details again. This time, open the Proxy tab. Uncheck all items and click OK. Restart your device to implement the changes. The ETC folder used by Windows and other operating systems may contain unnecessary files, causing the server IP address could not be found error. Find it by going to the C directory on Windows File Explorer. Choose the Windows folder, then System32 and Drivers. Inside it, you will find the ETC folder. To check if it's triggering the error, you need to delete all the files in the folder. Before you do that, make sure you have the backup files on a flash drive or cloud storage services like Google Drive. When you have the backup files safely stored, select All Files in the original folder, right-click and select Delete. Try reaccessing the site. If the problem persists, don't forget to restore the folder using your backup and move on to another method. But if you can access the site, add the files back one by one. After each addition, check if you can still access the website. If the error message appears that after restoring a particular file, remove it permanently. Lastly, we can restart the DNS client service. It is supposed to run automatically when you start the computer. When it's not running, your browser can't access any website. You can restart the DNS client service on Windows 10 via the system configuration. Press the keys Windows and R and enter msconfig in the search bar. Click OK. Select the Services tab, scroll down until you find the DNS client option, uncheck the box to disable it and click OK. Now, restart your computer. Once the reboot is complete, repeat the previous steps, but this time, recheck the box to enable the DNS client. Restart the computer again and check if you can access the site. If you can't fix the server IP address could not be found error using any of these options, the site server might be under maintenance. So I suggest you try reaccessing it later. Let me know in the comments which method worked for you. Give us a thumbs up and share this video if you found it helpful. 
Don't forget to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy's YouTube channel so you won't miss any videos about troubleshooting errors, web hosting, and web development. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.